Hey, Chris here, Estimating Expert YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a tool chest if you're gonna be doing electrical takeoff using Bluebeam. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here and click on this little tool chest looking icon and open your tool chest panel. And kind of the first thing um, overview about the tool chest is you have an area where you have my tools, and you have recent tools. So my tools is a place that is a permanent area for some of your most used tools. Recent tools, obviously any tools that you use recently are gonna show up here. I hide these because I don't typically use them. Um, but the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you get an estimate or you start a new estimate in Bluebeam is create a tool chest for the project. So come over here, drop this down, click manage tool sets. It's gonna open up a dialog, manage tool sets dialog, click add. And then typically here, I would give it an estimate name, whatever the job name is, and then I would give it the estimate number, and then click OK, and just save it to the default folder. And now you have a new tool chest created up here, that which this will be your estimate name and estimate number, of course. But now you don't have any tools in here to use, but in some of the next videos, I'll show you how to create items. We'll do some light fixture counts, some wiring device counts. We'll do some home runs and some branch wiring. And I'll show you how that you can create items or tools to use inside your tool chest um, that you can reuse over and over again. One more thing to note is in the tool chest, there's a couple different views. If I open this, my tools back up. There's the symbol view and the detail view. I like to use the detail view because it shows some text because I'm gonna show you guys later how you can add subject lines and you can label it and you can even layer some of the items and the tools that you create so that when you're doing these counts, um, so let's say if you create a light fixture and you layer it to the fixtures layer, all the fixtures that you count with that symbol will be on a layer, which in later videos, I'll show you why that's useful transitioning an estimate into project management or operations rather. So that's how you create a tool chest. Stay tuned for the next videos where I'll show you how to create tools that we can use for the tool chest. If you like this video, like and subscribe and comment. It's what keeps me going and I appreciate it. Thanks.